Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about the surface deformer. You might have seen it, but you're not quite sure what it does. So I'm going to show you with as little trouble as possible and what it does. Let's say we have a sphere, right? And we bring it up here and we place it on this guy's tummy. Now, if we parent the sphere, for example, to this controller, it'll move with it, as you'd expect. But what if the sphere is stretched out like this? And let's say we parent it to this controller, so we put it in there. And now when we rotate it, it kind of works, but if we rotate this one above, it doesn't really follow the body shape. What the surface deformer lets us do is exactly that. Let's bring this guy out. We don't need him in there. If you put a surface deformer underneath a sphere, and you drag in the mesh here, and you press initialize, now when we move, uh, you'll see this deformation happening in the sphere. It's not as obvious in this case because I think I didn't make the sphere long enough. There you go, you can kind of see that if we move it across. Whoops. <laughs> you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Let's try and make the sphere bigger. Let's turn off our surface. And let's make the sphere bigger. Let's make it like a tie, right? And now we press initialize again and then turn it on. And now when we move this object, there you go, you see we have some deformation going on. And this is not the only way you can do it. You know, this is not the only thing that's useful for just not one sphere. You can, for example, let's delete the surface from it for now. Let's make the sphere small again. If you want, you can turn on snapping, right? Enable snapping and 3D snapping and polygon snap. And now we're going to just heat control and drag the sphere all over the guy's body. Then you get the point. Now all these spheres, let's put them into a group and let's make a surface deformer. And you want to group these guys again, so there's a null and then there's a surface deformer under it. And let's go 5 man mesh and press initialize. And now when we move stuff, well, we're going to move this below the mesh, otherwise the priorities get messed up. Now when we move stuff, See, the spheres move with them, well, except for that one in the middle because it's in the wrong place. It's not inside the group, so let's drag it into the group as well. And let's hit initialize again. And there you have it. You have all of these guys. Whoa! That's what happens with snapping on. <laughs> so you have all the spheres moving to either. So this is an easy way to add like buttons and stitches and all kinds of stuff that you might want to add to the surface of a mesh or anything. There's another method here. Um, as a lot of people notice, there's also this uh, UV mapping thing, which is handy in that, for example, this is how I made my cape. Where's my cape? My cape is actually using a surface deformer. As you can see, it's just a flat square. But I then have this uh, surface, which is being deformed by a bunch of joints and whatnot. And the cape is actually, the surface is using the UV mapping to project the cape onto it, see? So you can see with the strength that that's how it affects it. And that's very handy because then you force it to conform to surface, but it's usually difficult because UV maps aren't regular. Like here, you know, I can make it like 0.5 and it'll only span half the surface because it's easy. It's just a, the UV map is just a square. But with a man, you know, the, the UV maps are very complex and, you know, it's really hard to place it in the right place. So first deforming it and positioning it correctly is vital because then you can just make it stick to the surface that exists. And that's pretty much it. There you go. It's a five minute tip on, you know, how to use a surface deformer. You can also do stuff like ties and like in my five man here, stuff like ties. Um, you know, I got the tie. It's done the same way. It's attached using the surface deformer. And even the bow tie is attached the same way. Um, it's also um, attached in a very similar fashion. And 
yes, that's pretty much it. You can attach all kinds of, even if you have a piece of clothing, you can stick it on and you can just do a surface deformer and it'll mostly follow it. Sometimes you want to weight it. If it's too complex, it might lag and then you might do, want to do proper skin weighting to the mesh. But for a lot of things like this, this is a really easy way to do it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Enjoy. This is Alexei from Ace 5 Studios. If you like my tutorials um, and you feel like supporting me, by no means don't feel like you have to, but you can buy my five, man. And this was Alexei from Ace 5 Studios, and I'll see you in my next tutorial.